Good morning. You see, it's winter. It's bloody dark now in the mornings. And it also gets dark later on, which means motivation is low. So to combat this, if you watch previous videos, we're creating good habits. And this is my morning habit, my new morning habit to win the day. What is it? Ice cold showers. Ice cold showers. Ice cold. Hence the lovely. <laughs> hence the lovely shorts. Yep, yeah. <laughs> so obviously normally you would do this in your birthday suit. Unless you're trying to impress a girl that you've had over the other night, then maybe wear the shorts. <laughs> it's gonna be cold. So the reason we are doing this is the shock of a cold shower. The benefits of it are, it's supposed to help. It's gonna wake your ass up. Let's be fair about that, just to the shock factor of the cold. But it's supposed to release endorphins, help reduce cortisol levels, help release a little bit of adrenaline, so it's gonna spark you up in the morning. It's even supposed to help a little bit of metabolic boosting. Not to mention recovery factors, obviously from those similar theory alongside ice bath and things like that. We're gonna turn that bitch all the way down. Yeah, it's gonna suck. Come on now. Have you seen a grown man cry? Oh, look at that water pressure. <laughs> I was hoping it was going to be a bit of a trickle. I can feel the cold from you. Oh, you actually can. And you're going to stay in for a minute. Just a minute. So you can turn the heat on after that. You're going to get in and you can take deep, big breaths. Let the cold hit you. Big, big breaths are through the nose, out through the mouth. Really take it on. Make sure you're getting, getting the cold in there. And this is our morning habit for the day. You do this every day. Woo, set you up for the day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Oh, it takes your breath away. <laughs> Cold, mate? Headed. <laughs> oh, oh, I feel alive though. Ha! You can feel that, it, like it takes your head, it's like the air goes out of you. Ha! That's it, first one done. Every morning from now on, adrenaline, cortisol, recovery, ass getting woken up. Oh my god, it does, it wakes you up. Okay, now we're ready for the day, and today we're trying something new, we're trying something different, and we're reaching out into new goals. New goal sets, reach out to new people, pulling in favors. Progression, progression, progression. Ooh, I actually need a towel. <laughs> <laughs> That's some nice morning weather. So after that morning routine to wake your ass up, two other things that you need to know. One, get some good music on when you're on your way to the gym. Music. If it's fired up by the time you get to the gym, you're gonna have a better session. Don't go in there lethargically sitting in your car kind of zombieing out. So you're gonna get to the gym, you're gonna sit outside, and you're gonna be struggling to get out your car and get in those doors. So get some fired up music that gets the fucking blood going before you even reach those doors of that gym. Number two, try new shit. And that's what we're doing today. So today we're off to Black Country Barbell. That's it. Never been before, it looks epic. I've always been invited there, I've just not had the time to get there when I've been in Birmingham. So I'm making the time today. Why? Because this is a gym kitted out with unique equipment and new things that I'm gonna be able to try. Now I'm not saying that you need to be joined up to a hundred different gyms, but everybody can afford to go somewhere different once a week, pay three, four, three or four pound admission, and do some new shit. You don't know unless you try. So to look at something and think, I'm not gonna like that, 
You don't know until you tried it. So today we're gonna to go and we're gonna see what's there that we can fit in to a bodybuilding functional routine. So we're gonna see what we can do that's gonna make us work, that's gonna build muscle, but keep that functionality. Sun shining, weather sweet, music loud. So when we talk about that new new, I'm talking about a little bit of the black, black country, the <laughs> black country barbell. <laughs> so we're at Black Country Barbell and this is a unique gym. This is all about kind of a strength and conditioning areas. They've got specialist coaches here, specialist equipment. And this is what I mean by trying something new. We wouldn't be able to train here every day because it's like over like nearly an hour away from where I live, but that doesn't stop me coming in once or twice a week to take advantage of the environment, learn some new routines and adapt those to the daily training that I'm going to go through nearer to home. And that's what it's about. It's about finding different things, making them work in different environments. So come in, utilize something, go to that place different, that place you wanted to go, that club you wanted to join, that, that jiu-jitsu gym, that MMA gym, the boxing gym, a place like this that's more to do powerlifters. Just go and give it a fucking chance. You never know, you just might love it. It's gonna get dirty, it's gonna get dirty. We're just gonna freaking grind, we're gonna smash and grind and train. When I get somewhere new, I just like to try shit. So this is really gonna be just one where I hit up some exercises that look cool. We're gonna keep it raw, a little bit of edit, but first off, we need to release something. It's time to unleash the Kraken! So straight off the bat is a prime example of why we're at places like this. Today we're going to be doing back, <laughs> biceps and abs. We're going to be bringing back some deadlifts. Have not deadlifted in a, a number of months. Tweaked my shoulder, just a tendon in here got aggravated. It got me out of the routine of deadlifting. I bitched out and didn't go back to it. It's that simple. I could have been back weeks ago and I haven't been. This is my new starting point. And this is exactly why we come to gyms like this. You can see here we've got a proper deadlifting platform. A firm foundation to drive against. It's, it's rubberized so we can dump the weight if we need to. It's not going to bounce around. It's not gonna roll away from us whenever we're putting the weight back down, which is a major thing which breaks concentration. If you're having to put the bar down, it's kind of kinking off and rolling away because your platforms are useless. That's 100% gonna affect your lifts. We're also rocking with a 28 mil flexi bar. So what this means is when we pull, the bar's gonna have a little bit of bend to it. And these are like night and day when it comes to lifting against a, a stiff bar. It just feels cleaner, it pulls smoother, it pulls more naturally. And this is why you come to different places. This is why you try new, new outlets because most gyms will not have this. And you only need to be deadlifting like once, twice a week. If you can make it to a place like this once a week, get to use a better bar, your progression is gonna be twofold. You're gonna feel better about it, your confidence is gonna go up, and you're surrounded, you're in an environment like this. The environment itself is gonna amp you up and get you ready to work harder and work better. So this is exactly the reason why we're here. Yeah, so I haven't even started lifting yet, but this, this is important reasons why. So we have... Trent Seven, Pete Dunn, and Tyler Bay. WWE wrestlers! <laughs> Genuinely never geeked out or been a little bit more happy in my life. <laughs> so you guys live here, get flown out there to wrestle. Yeah. And they can watch you just like on Sky? We'll go oh. to LA next week and it's WWE Network, it's on mostly. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'll go to LA next week. So we can watch you on WWE yeah. Network. I'm, ner I'm genuinely nerding out a little bit right now. Where do you train when you're here then, wrestling-wise? Uh, we started around around this sort of area. We started in Black Country. I started in Coventry, but like wrestling, wrestling, like wrestling. No, no, pro wrestling. Is pro, 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 yeah. pro wrestling places to train around here? Yeah, loads. Yeah. More than you'd ever think. Really? Yeah. You want to give it a try now? Yeah. <laughs> I kind of do. I kind of do. You should come down. Where? Yeah. When? Yeah. Seriously? Yes, yeah, sir. Right, if you want to see some WWE wrestling training on the channel, comment right fucking now. Like the video, comment, and we will make this shit happen. Deal? Deal. Deal. I I'm in. I'm in. Right, back to weightlifting stuff. So today we're going to be concentrating just on form. Working that mechanism, that motor pathway of the deadlift again and getting it back in because I guarantee setting the body and setting everything correctly as it needs to be again is going to knacker me out. That's why I'm going to concentrate on lighter weight, slower reps, and just focus on really 
putting that load where it needs to be, making sure the form is correct. So deadlifts are going to be the first back, back exercise, then we're going to go and do some lap pull downs or something a little bit unique. Then we're going to be doing the biceps, two exercises, abs, two exercises. Everything's five sets and everything is going to be between a kind of six to twelve rep range. Other than this big compound, I'm going to be aiming for kind of six to tens and that's how it should be. If you can't control the lighter weight to bring your reps down, then you are not lifting technically enough or you're not connected enough to your body. So, yes, we're starting at ground zero. Yes, this is going to look weak as fuck, but who cares? It's not about what everyone else thinks. It's not what everyone else is looking at. It's about what you can do to your maximum to improve your potential. Let's fucking get to it. Okay, so warmed in on uh, coming up to two plates. So we're gonna go three plates now, and I know that three plates is like a good level of resistance for me, but also makes me work. And he's gonna bring me under that 10 rep range if I keep it nice and slow. One of the main things I found out when I was deadlifting was I have a slight pelvic tilt, which we've talked about previously in the past, and that creates like an overarch in the lower back. So I'm having to fight to constantly keep a neutral spine. And that's what you want when you're deadlifting. So we want neutral. We don't want rounded, but we also equally don't want overly arched. So three plates, we're just gonna work at that, focus on technique, nice and slow, nice and crisp, six to ten reps, five sets. It's a fact, negativity is cancerous. Yeah. You don't get it, huh? Maybe you can answer this. So why you mad, bro? Not working, but you talking shit. So why you mad, bro? I'm busy with my shopping list. You know when magicians handcuff themselves <laughs> into something and you see them, they have to get out of it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm spinning round in circles. <laughs> that was smooth. That's smooth? Smooth. Yeah, that's that, 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 quite smooth, wasn't it? Smooth. Smooth, enough. smooth mate. <laughs> so why you mad, bro? You never fucking got a head. I made excuses, I just made some bread I, I, I pay no attention, I'm looking down the road I'm only in for expression and getting free and clear So the last set And uh, it feels quite good I know that when the movement feels short, I'm doing it right If the movement feels long, like I'm pulling the bar a long way It usually means that I've either fired my hips too early Or I'm kind of doing a double movement, like hitching it up So when it feels short and sharp and tight, that's when I know I've got it right What I'm looking for throughout this is driving through the feet Keeping my back like, like locked in and tight, my back needs to be contracted. I'm rolling my elbows in, concentrating on breathing deep into my stomach and holding it like someone's gonna punch me in the gut. And what that does by breathing in deep and holding that air in your stomach, you're uh, neutralizing the spine, getting the erectors involved instead of overarching the back and disconnecting those erector muscles. Some people naturally have a strong grip, some people naturally don't. I don't. So an over under helps me lock that bar in and not have to use straps uh, to this point. Feeling it all the way through the legs, up into that back, and uh, no disconnection throughout. A little bit lightheaded, it means we're doing it right. This is exactly what I'm talking about. If your gym doesn't have a Batman style utility belt of handles, then maybe have a look around for something different. This is exactly what I'm talking about. So we're gonna use this handle on the lat pull down. What this is gonna allow me to do, it's gonna allow me to have a really natural grip, shoulder width apart, and what that's gonna do, I have an impingement on the left side, or if you have a leading side, by having something with a natural grip, I'm gonna be able to tuck my elbows really tight. What that's gonna allow me to do is keep the scapula down. I'm not gonna to have to overarch my back to pull this to my chest. I'm gonna be able to go all the way up, extending the elbows and letting that shoulder move through a full range of motion, rather than when the elbows become splayed, it destabilizes the shoulder. So as you come up, it's harder to keep that shoulder down and stop it destabilizing. So if you have an impingement or a leading side, that's gonna be an issue. When you're able to tighten the elbows in, keep them tight on the way down and keep them tight all the way back up, we're able to control that scapula and make that shoulder 
and the scapular wing moves through a full range of motion, which is going to reduce the tendency to create impingements. It's going to keep the sides working in a uniformity, so they're going to work equally from side to side, and it's going to help take away from that leading side if you do have one. So that is the exact benefit of trying somewhere new. So shout out every hating artist from around the globe. This track right here gonna make more than your quote unquote career. All I know is business, that's how I'm doing me. Why you sit around and bitching, now I'm doing what you dream. And you say you don't care about money, then wonder why you broke. Same way you acting funny, cause the team acquired dope. Final set, so hitting that. 8 to 12 rep range. What I'm looking to do is I'm going to look to roll the elbows in and keep them tight throughout the entire movement. What I'm going to be doing is coming up and underneath on the negative. So as I come back up, I'm going to let the body straighten. I'm going to come up and underneath the handle, force the arms to fully extend up, but I'm keeping the shoulder and scapula engaged and extend and pull that lat fully on the negative rather than stay tight and like hunch it up like this and then let the shoulders rise. So that's what we're looking to do, that full negative extension. And you'll really feel as you come up and underneath the handle at the, at the top of it, that's when you, you'll almost feel, feel and see the lat like pop out at the top and then you re-engage and you're always pulling through from the elbows. Forget about your hands, pull from the elbows. I'm gonna roll those elbows in, pull down. And you can see here at the bottom, I'm not arching. I've got, I'm exposing my chest to the handle, but I'm not overarching backwards. So I'm forcing that squeeze through the elbows, squeeze, and then I come back up, extending from the elbows, keeping the shoulders down, and I come up and underneath, and watch those lats come out. Boom, there. But I'm not letting the shoulders go, keeping them engaged. And then from there, roll the elbows, and bam. Really concentrating on that left side, which is my impinged and weaker side. Seven. Eight. Two more. Fuck you, reps. Come on. Fuck. You. Ooh. Feeling that all up and right under here. Almost through the bicep and forearm as well. Not so much in the hands because they were relaxed, just meat hooks. Ooh, and that's how you make each side work independently. Avoid those impingements, avoid that leading side, and have a bash with a bit of new kit, Batman style. So that's back done with the deadlifts and that kind of medium grip lat pull down. Now we're gonna move on to biceps. Now, I've always told you about that functionality of the movement I like to put in. You often see me doing a bicep curl into an Arnold shoulder press. I just like it, I'll throw that in pretty much every day anyway, even if it's just three sets to the end of a routine. Because I think it's just a really great movement for keeping those scapula open and uh, making the actual, if you have like a winged scapula, which is where your scapula tends to tuck itself in and not extend out fully, I think it's really great for stopping that happening or rehabbing that if you have issues with it. I'm gonna do a hammer curl here, but again, I want that functionality. So I'm gonna have a hammer curl, I'm gonna be bringing it up, and then from this position here, I'm gonna press in the hammer grip, up and back down, and we're gonna make it that nice, functional movement. So by adding in this nice little press at the top, we're just again bringing back that core stability, working a bit of those shoulders. Make sure that when you're doing the hammer curl, that you're holding at the top of the handle here, not midway through. So we're at the top of the handle, we're gonna be bringing it up, and then angling that dumbbell head, dumbbell head to the ceiling, we're gonna be pressing up, and then back down. Both arms, same time, this is not a heavy exercise. We're talking eight to 12 kilos, somewhere in that range. You're gonna be going slow, concentrated on the bicep curl, squeeze, and then a nice little explosion up through for that shoulder press. Five sets, it's 12 reps, woo! All of the music made in an attic, now on the national TV. Every rerun helping my freedom, people actually see me. Online they try to panini, I'm thinking they just wanna be me. But you can't, you wanna know why? You'd actually have to beat me. Who shoes are those trainers? Whose bands is that elastic? Who's done bells with those hammers? <laughs> <laughs> this is how you take it. Active rest. Active rest. Dad two step roll. Okay, final set. Getting raw, it's getting a little tough now. I'm only doing 12 and a half kilos. It's kind of killing me about eight reps. What I'm looking for here is, this is my bad side. This is the side that's gonna to wanna to kick out. What a natural range of motion on this is gonna feel unnatural to this side because it's been impinged for so long that its natural range of movement is, is a fucked up lopsided kind of thing. So to put it back in line is gonna feel really abnormal because your body gets used to it feeling out of line and that becomes your normal. So what I'm looking for in the mirror, in the mirror I'm actually using the mirrors, that's what they're here for. I'm looking to mimic the right hand side which I know is correct to move smooth. And what's gonna, what I'm gonna try and avoid here is this side's gonna wanna kick that dumbbell head out 
because what it's going to want to do is it's trying to, we're going to want to bring that trap in. So it's going to try and kick the dumbbell out, which is going to allow that shoulder to then hitch up here. That's what it's going to try and do. So I'm going to be forced to really turn that dumbbell head in and drive it straight up. At this point here, it's going to feel really tight and unnatural to drive that through. So at this point is where I don't want to let that elbow kick out because the body's going to want to go around that tight point. I want it to go start moving through it. So hands at the top of the dumbbell, scapula engaged, chest up, core engaged, feet hip width apart, glutes a little bit squeezed to stop those hips swinging. So I'm controlling my upper body with that core. Curl, drive. Five, come on now. You can see on those last ones like we wanted to stunt on that left hand side. If you find yourself kind of hitching up at any point during any movement, not just this, any movement you do, if you find yourself hitching or twisting, stop, reset your posture, then carry on. Yes, you'll lose a couple of reps, but long term, you're gonna get a hell of a lot more gains. I, I, I just do my thing, keep on climbing up. Climbing up. My numbers do the talking, boy, you want too much. It's a fact, negativity is cancerous. Yeah. You don't get it, huh? Maybe you can answer this. So why you mad, bro? Not working, but you talking shit. So why you mad, bro? I'm busy with my shopping list. So why you mad, bro? You never fucking got a hit. I never made excuses, I just made some bread. So we're working here, we're working an overhand grip bicep curl. So the reason this is a little bit more functional is because using that overhand, we're having to lean a little bit back and stabilize our core, squeeze our glutes to stop everything shaking. We're having to get, engage our scapula, but also we're incorporating forearm use. Using that overhand grip really does bring in all the forearm, brings like the outside of the bicep all the way down. You'll feel it run all the way down and through here. We need strong wrists throughout, and we're curling up knuckles into the face. But what we're not doing is bringing those elbows up. Leaning elbows in place, finish it at an angle, squeeze at the top, and then control that negative all the way down without arching to counterbalance or without following it down with the body. For the final set, let's get it. We've done everything the same. Five sets, eight to 12 reps. Strong wrists, tight elbows, scapula engaged. See, I've got a slight lean back, but now my body isn't gonna move. Final ones, come on. Knuckles through. Drive through with those thumbs. Fight that negative. Flex that tricep at the bottom to get full extension. Five. Steps done in the most functional manner possible. Next, abs. We're gonna be working now on uh, using some body weight work, stabilization, and we're gonna be using a unique one which you won't have seen many times using many gyms, and it is called the briefcase carry, but without a briefcase. You'll see. So why you mad, bro? Not working, but you talking shit. So why you mad, bro? I'm busy with my shopping list. So why you mad, bro? You never fucking got a hit. Huh? I never made excuses, I just made some bread. I understand why these motherfuckers are hating bad They got no drive, no path, and no hope for making cash Cause if they did, they'd take some notes diagnosing my moves All the joking might prove they moving like an aching back Ouch, look at me now, touring around, performing a sound Talk about moves, you've been in a bounce Forever stuck, on winning your town, bitch <sighs> Get that right You should be burning down here Glutes should be on fire And remember throughout, you're trying to maintain that nice upright posture Strapping engaged, chest up, core controlled. Whew, that's a briefcase carry. Now onto the final exercise. And again, we're gonna be using something a little bit different, a little bit of a twist on a common exercise. Y'all too weak, not a fortnight, y'all just beat. Moaned everybody's sleeping, but you just don't bring that heat. Boy, acting like you got it, quit flexing for the gram. Friends know you're not that popping, and the rest don't give a damn. Seeing someone doing better, immediately saying they don't deserve it. Should've been me, you the definition of a hater. I, I, I just do my thing, keep on climbing up. My numbers do the talking, boy, you want too much. It's a fact, negativity is cancerous. You don't get it, huh? Maybe you can answer this. So why you mad? So why you mad, bro? I'm busy with my shopping list. So why you mad, bro? You never fucking got ahead. I never made excuses, I just made some bread. So 
the variation that you're looking at here is, obviously you can do hanging leg raises using those purpose-built units, where obviously you can hang from a lat pull down or they have those elbow pads where you can hang and bring your legs up. What we're doing is making it a little bit more difficult by using some of these gymnastics rings. What makes this a little bit more difficult is obviously they've got a wobble factor to them. You have to stabilize to hold them in point, otherwise they can splay in or out. And there's gonna be a lot more swing here. So, controlling swings on negatives is all about stopping that lower back arching. So what I had a bad habit of doing previously was, I would come up fine, so the legs would come up fine, but then as I was coming back down, rather than keeping the back neutral and bringing the legs back down, what I would do is as the legs were coming back down, I would arch that lower back to compensate and obviously take away from making those abs work. It's the body's way of adapting. So remember the body, it makes no sense for it to stay in isolation. So what I do to, to stop that swing and stop that overarching the lower back is, one, I concentrate on keeping my lower abs pulled in, but two, as I come down with the legs, I squeeze my glutes at the same time, and that again helps neutralize the spine, brings that lower back into play, helps you control your core, and bring those legs back down whilst maintaining that ab control and not overarching that lower back. So we're doing two versions here, one after the other. So I'm doing hanging, straight arm, bringing the legs up out straight. If you want to bring them all the way up to the hands, you can do, I did a version of that. Otherwise, you can just bring them up to kind of waist height or just above and hold them. Anytime that your hips come up and around is great for bringing in those lower abs. The other version, we're just gonna bring ourselves up, hold, hang the body in a neutral position, lock ourselves in, contract that back, and then we're gonna bring our legs up and just sit and hold for 15 to 30 seconds at a time. So one set raises, one set hangs. One set raises, one set hangs. Abs are no different, we're aiming for that eight to 12 rep range, controlled negative, controlled positives. Make it work, here's the final set. This one is gonna be leg raises, and then I'll do a little hang at the end just for 10 seconds to show you how we're doing it. To how it, it, it pains, it's pain, it pains Jay, it's painful. It's okay. hard life. There's no way of looking cool doing this, it's just gonna be grimacing and squeezing. Glutes now. Four. Five. Squeeze like glute. Bring it through. Six. Ah. Squeeze on the glutes. If you need to take a second to reset, that's fine. Back in. I've forgotten how many I've done, so I'll go back to what I can remember. Six. Seven. One more, one more, one more. Eight, squeeze, on down. Ah. Okay, so whenever I said squeeze on those glutes, that's when I was bringing them in. So as they come down, when my lower back feels like it wants to arch, I squeeze those glutes and force it to work. The other variation we're doing, I'm gonna pull myself up, I'm gonna squeeze my elbows tight, lock my back, and I'm gonna bring my legs up and just sit and hold. One, two, five, three, Oh, four <laughs> seconds, I was. <laughs> That's all I got left. Oh my god. And I can feel that like from here all the way down right into right into serratus and everything. It's just oh, really, really great functional ab movement. We've got two fantastic ab movements there. So forget your fucking crunches. If they've plateaued you out, give this shit a go. So that's it for today here at Black Country Barbell. Black Country. Uh, very cool thing though, I will be back here once a week to work with strength and conditioning coach Jake, who is an in-house trainer here at Barbell. And we will see some unique exercises that are gonna help develop your power to strength ratio, help build that posture, help build a functional base upon which everything else can build. This is gonna be a really, really interesting time for me because the specialization and knowledge that Jake has is invaluable and it's gonna be one of the difference makers throughout this entire series that you can join in with. We will set the programs, we will put them in the descriptions for you so that you can follow them like for like. So, for now, we're out here. It's been a pleasure. I've been Lex. This has been the Black Country Barbell. Beautiful black and red environment that makes me look half natty at all times because of that natural daylight. I'll catch you next one. Until then, boom baby, we're out. Lately I've been doing shit different Cooking like a chef, I've been all up in the kitchen Had to make a move, had to make a little distance Lot of people tripping, they could never see the vision Fuck that, tell them bounce